Hi everybody, welcome once again to another Low on Health Daily Ramblings. Kind of just my video blog about what I've been doing last past couple, uh, 24 hours, last past day. Um, not really much going on, uh, just kind of relaxing, uh, gearing up for some Mass Effect, which uh, I'll talk about later. Do want to mention, of course it's Monday, so there were two new Escapist episodes that uh, I really liked. Uh, basically the new one's Skippable which is uh, starring Sonic Unleashed, which is, from what I've always heard, a horrible game. That's the one where Sonic becomes a werewolf, a werehog. But, uh, you know, and of course the Loading Ready Run people do the unskippable. That's Graham and Paul. And then also they did their Loading Ready Run skit video. Their kind of daily Monday video of Just Drive, which is, of course, always funny. And I've, I've always mentioned it. And I will continue to keep mentioning it on this program that I am a big, huge fan of the Loading Ready Run and I'm still working on their massive back catalog of videos up on YouTube. Let's go ahead and move on. Um, Gamefly does show they did ship me Mass Effect, which is good. Didn't mention if it was going to be from a different location or whatnot. So the good news is, is tentatively, I should have that tomorrow. Um, in which case, I'll be playing the hell out of it. So I want to mention if the ne tomorrow's video doesn't happen, I'll probably play Mass Effect. And if it does happen, it's going to happen either really early uh, while I do dinner, or really late when I'm about to go to bed, kind of around now. Um, I did send back Lego Rock Band, um, and then of course you got the usual yada 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 was coming out. But I know a lot of people are really looking forward towards Mass Effect. I'm very geared up to play through it and have some fun with it. A good old solid RPG. Granted, I kind of played one uh, back in a uh, you know Dragon Age wasn't that long ago, but Mass Effect's definitely kind of a more sci-fi vibe, and some of us definitely have a, a soft spot for some type of sci-fi RPGs. On uh, Kutaku today, they mentioned that basically uh, Major Nielsen uh, basically posted uh, the top Xbox Live indie games, which is kind of their community games, kind of the games people can just make and put up. And the number one of uh, last top selling of last year was I Made a Game with Zombies, which I mentioned uh, probably before that I didn't really think much of it until I went out and had a, a luncheon with some coworkers, and they mentioned it's a really great game. I mean, it's kind of like Geometry Wars. It's kind of a simple shooter uh with the, the two dual sticks. Uh, but the main thing about this game is it's not just fun, it's also just a dollar. In which case, you know, that's not that big of a thing to pay for on Xbox Live. You know, a buck game is pretty good. Uh, pretty Considering this game is really fun to play. And actually this article uh, explains basically that where, you know, this was a really good game that had really good uh, transfer. Basically people downloaded the demo, liked it, and then bought it. For a dollar, of course, that wouldn't be that big of a deal. And it does show that this one sold it was saying uh, basically uh, 160,000 downloads, which means the creator basically got 112,000, which isn't that bad. I mean, this guy also did, I think, the dishwasher uh, game, so he kind of knows what he's doing. And they also mentioned that the Avatar drop was also a, uh, the second runner-up of the top-selling indie games. But that one, I kind of felt you got the gist of it after the trial. But I made a game with zombies. You kind of want to support that guy in that kind of fun game. And it is co uh, Couch Co-op. I don't think it works over Xbox Live. But it's a fun game just to play. I mean, I pick it up every now and then if you're waiting for something to download. Or you're just trying to kill some time. It's one just to kind of pop up and play. Very much akin to uh, Everyday Shooter on the PS3. Which is a PSN title. Kind of along the same lines. That one's definitely kind of got more of a artsy music vibe to it. But once again, that's a game where if I'm waiting for something to load or just have the PS3 on for whatever reason, which I really do, it's definitely a, you know, a game worth playing, Everyday Shooter, which once again, it was recommended to me by one of my old co-workers, uh, Ms. Faratu. Uh, moving on, now, the indie uh, article got me thinking of other Xbox Live games, uh, indie games, in which case there's this one called Soul, which I was really tempted to give a try. Uh, it kind of has an interesting little story where you kind of a, a soul of a dead man, and you have to navigate and uh, get to heaven, and if you die, the soul goes to hell. Um, I was kind of hoping for, I mentioned last year, there was like an Xbox indie game called Clover, which I extremely enjoyed, and that one was like five bucks, and that's rarely anything I ever do is buy one of these games, and uh, Clover last year, for some reason, I really, really enjoyed. So I was like, hey, Soul, that sounds kind of the same way, and what really I, I liked about Soul was kind of its art style, which let me see if I can pull up a screenshot here, um, you probably don't want to see it too well, but I definitely like this type of art style, uh, it's kind of like a Machinerum, which was a PC title which I also will recommend anybody to play Machinerum is basically kind of like an old point and click adventure um, let's do this real quick, I do. there is a video of Soul up on GameFi uh, game trailers 
Um, and as you can see, uh, basically you were that little white soul and you have to navigate these different maps. Now one thing I didn't realize until I was playing the trial demo, essentially if that little soul touches any walls, it automatically dies. So essentially you have to go through these without touching any sides, kind of like Operation. And there's also different you know, enemies to avoid and traps to avoid. Um, but it does look great. I really like the aesthetic of it. But I just, I can't, I don't have the patience to do the whole don't touch the walls and getting almost to the end of a level and then touching a wall losing and re restarting from the beginning of that level. Um, but you know, give Soul a try. It might be up some people's creek. It is once again a dollar game, which I uh, actually, I would, I almost was thinking about getting, but unfortunately I actually don't have a dollar in my Xbox Live thing. I am now currently at 70 points. So I either have to buy new points or do something about that. Uh, moving on, another game that I uh, basically kind of played and started and kind of chewed through real quick, as I often have a habit of doing, is Dark Void. Uh, I started playing this on the PC. Um, pretty fun. I mean, it's basically Rocketeer um, meets kind of a sci-fi vibe of aliens, and you basically have a rocket pack with guns, and you shoot stuff. It has a decent cover system. The story is so-so. Eh, um, of course, it's funny because Nathan Drake voices the main character, which makes him believable and likable. See, but the funny thing is, is his voice is now kind of the Spike Spiegel snake voice of, I guess, this of the next gen, to where it's kind of getting old his voice. But you know, it is still good voice. Um, the game was fun. I did enjoy it. I mean, it's an average game. I mean, I'll write my review for it eventually. I'll probably give it in the ballpark of like a 7.5 or something. I mean, it looked good. I had some issues with the design. The gameplay solid. And like I mentioned, the story is kind of fanciful. But it does kind of nail down the whole Rocketeer vibe of being able to fly around, shoot, and feeling a, a sense of speed and doing maneuvers and whatnot. I mean, it's, it's a real fun game. And uh, I do recommend it to people to put in their game fly queue just to kind of give it a shot. Oh, they gave it a 6.8. So actually, I rated it higher, which is actually odd for me to do something higher than them. Um... But other than that, I kind of got all that out of the way. I got some write-ups I need to work on. Uh, kind of going to probably put my write-ups on a Monday schedule. So every Monday, there'll be a new article up on Low on Health, which uh, you know is basically my main hub of website. Even though I do these dailies, I'll basically work on articles throughout the week and then publish them on Monday. Um, and then, of course, tomorrow I got Mass Effect, so I'm going to wake up really early. I can't wake up at 2. got to wake up basically when the mail person gets here, so I'll probably set my alarm for like 10, hit up some Wendy's, and then probably get to playing Mass Effect. So uh, I'll probably see you guys later on tomorrow, and I'll definitely have some uh, probably first on impressions of Mass Effect 2. Um, other than that, I wish you all guys a good day, and uh, thank you for watching.